welcome to my channel which is all about crocheting and knitting and today I will be showing you how to crochet this cute bunny and this tutorial has a few parts this is first part and I think it's not hard to make it I will show you step by step how to make this cute bunny and if you don't subscribe my channel yet hit the subscribe button and if you like my bunny or if you like uh, this video put the thumb up and what you'll need for this project you'll need 4.5 millimeters crochet hook hollow fiber yarn needle long yarn needle stitch markers uh, safety eye buttons and i have used these safety eye buttons it's uh, 16 millimeters and you will need also safety nose button uh, cotton yarn white and black cotton yarn and i was working with chenille yarn my favorite is from himalaya it's called dolphin baby it's 100 grams 120 meters and it's 100 percent um, micro polyester and you'll need two balls uh, of gray color, one ball of pink color and one ball of white. Okay, first we are going to make uh, arms. So start with white color of chenille yarn and magic ring. And I always make chain one and this chain I count as single crochet. Now you have to make four single crochets into the magic ring so four single crochets in magic ring plus chain is five in total so you have to start the first round uh, with five single crochets tighten the magic ring and in my case i have to join uh, the round with a slip stitch so count it from the right side it's fourth stitch where i have to make slip stitch and count it from the left side it's the first stitch you have to make a slip stitch in the stitch in the first stitch count it from the left side not in chain okay in the next round we are going to increase and we are going to increase every stitch all the way around so you have to make two single crochets in each stitch all the way around and we are working in a round so you should mark the beginning and i'm hiding the tail the starting tail behind my work because it's less work at the end of of the project maybe someone uh, likes uh, written patterns more i'm working on the written pattern and i will let you know here on my instagram profile and on facebook when it's done okay at the end of the second round you should have 10 stitches in next round we are going to increase again increase the first stitch so make two single crochets in the first stitch this is one and i'm going to use a stitch marker so mark the first stitch and this is two single crochets in the first stitch in the next stitch make just one single crochet and repeat this section five times in total so in this round you have to increase every second stitch all the way around
I am at the end of the round and you should make one single crochet in very last stitch of this round. Okay, in next round we are going to make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So it will be round without change, without increase, without decrease. So continue working and meet me back again at the end of this round. Okay, now it's time for decrease. So in next round, we are going to decrease. So decrease uh, first, first stitch. I'm using always just front loops. It's invisible decrease. Okay, I have decreased, decreased and now make one single crochet in next stitch. And repeat it again. So in this round, you have to decrease every second stitch all the way around. So decrease, one single crochet, decrease, one single crochet. I am at the end of the round. And now it's time for gray color. And you can use what color you want. But uh, I'm going to show you they have more type of gray. Uh, this is silver gray. So I'm going to use the silver gray. And I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to use basic... Basic color change. Not invisible color change. So... I'm going to make first single crochet of next round with uh, white color, but I will not finish it. I will not finish it with white. I will finish it with gray color of yarn. And in this round, you have to make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around with the gray color of yarn and at the end of this round you should have 10 stitches In next round, we have to decrease again. So, I'm going to hide uh, the gray tail now in next round. And if you want, you can follow me, but if it's better for you to hide um, all tails at the end of work with yarn needle, it's up to you, you can. Okay. So now make one single crochet in the first three stitches. And then decrease. So I'm using again only front loops. And then make one single crochet in next three stitches again. This is one, two, and three single crochets. And you have two stitches left, so decrease. So in this round, we have decreased twice. So at the end of this round, you should have eight stitches. And now it's going to be easier because we are going to make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And I'm going to make 10 rounds of single crochets. 10 rounds without change, without decrease, without increase. And 
and stuff the arm with hollow fiber and uh, use hollow fiber just in the white part of arm. And this is how it looks like and make also the other arm with the same way. I can cut all tails because it's already hidden. So I have ready two arms and now we are going to make legs and the body of rabbit. So use the same size of crochet hook white color of yarn and start with the magic ring. Then make six single crochets into the magic ring. So I'm going to make chain one, which is counted as single crochet. So I have one single crochet. And now I have to make five single crochets into the magic ring. So if you want to follow me, chain one and then five single crochets into the magic ring. I have to join the round with a slip stitch in the first stitch. And now we are going to increase every stitch. So in next round, make two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. At the end of this round, you should have 12 stitches. Okay, in next round, increase every second stitch all the way around. So I'm going to increase the first stitch, use stitch marker. So now I have two stitches in the first stitch. In next stitch, make just one single crochet and repeat it again. So make two single crochets in every second stitch all the way around. Okay, now in three next rounds, make just one single crochet. At the end of the round, you should have 18 stitches. So continue working one single crochet in each stitch all the way around, make three rounds in total, and then meet me back again. So you can pause the video and meet me back again at the end of the round. Okay, and now it's time uh, for gray color of yarn. So I'm going to change the color, but I will change it um, not in the first stitch of next round, but here, where is the last, the last stitch, last single crochet of, of previous round. So this is last single crochet of previous round. Then make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around with the gray color. So this is first single crochet. And you can hide all tails behind your work. In next round, we have to decrease. So I'm going to decrease uh, the first stitch. So decrease. I'm going to use again just firm loops 
it's up to you if you will follow me or if you have maybe better way how to decrease. This is invisible decrease. And in this round, we will decrease twice. So we have decreased on the beginning of the round. And second decrease will be in the middle of this round. So here and here. Now I'm going to make seven single crochets. I mean one single crochet in next seven stitches. Now decrease. So this is second decrease. And you should have seven stitches left. So make one single crochet in last seven stitches. In next round make one single crochet in each stitch around and you should make 16 single crochets. In next round we have to decrease again on the same place as before so on the beginning so decrease and then make one single crochet in next six stitches. One, two, two, <laughs> three, four, five, and six. Decrease. This is second decrease of this round. And then you should have six stitches left. So make one single crochet in next six stitches. At the end, of this round you should have 14 stitches. And next round will be without changes, so make just one single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, now we have to shape the right shape of foot. So make one single crochet. And now we are going to increase the upper part of foot. So increase four times. Make two single crochets in next four stitches. This is first increase. This is second increase. This is third increase and last fourth increase. In the next stage, okay, in the next stage, make one single crochet. And you should have eight stitches left, so decrease by decrease. You should decrease four times. First decrease, second decrease, this is third decrease and last decrease. Okay, in the next round make one single crochet in first stitch. And then we will increase again. So increase. Make two single crochets in next stitch. In the next stitch make one single crochet. In next stitch increase again. So make 
two single crochets. This is second increase. In the next stitch, one single crochet. In the next stitch, two single crochets. This is third increase. One single crochet. And two single crochets. So this is fourth increase. In the next stitch, make one single crochet. Okay. In the next stitch, you have to make one single crochet. And then you should have four stitches left. So decrease by decrease, decrease twice. Okay, you can see it's getting right shape. And in next round, we will make one single crochet in first 12 stitches. And in this round, we will just decrease. So make 12 single crochets. And now decrease twice. In the next round, uh, we will start with decrease. So decrease on the beginning. Then make one single crochet in next five stitches. Now increase, so in next stitch, make two single crochets. Then one single crochet in the next two stitches. And decrease twice. Now you can use hollow fiber, stuff the foot, and we will use hollow, hollow fiber uh, in whole leg. In next round, or in next five rounds, we are going to make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So five rounds of single crochets.
and stuff the leg firmly. Okay, I have two legs. Uh, make the other leg with exactly the same way as the first leg. And now we have to start the body with chain two. And now we have to join both legs together. So count five stitches um, from the start. So insert your hook into the fifth stitch and make single crochet. And now we are going to make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and use stitch marker uh, on the side where is stitch marker is belly part of rabbit and uh, insert your stitch marker stitch marker into the first chain. And you should make 13 single crochets uh, at the leg, at the left leg. Okay, I have 12 single crochets and 13th single crochet goes here. Then make two single crochets uh, here. So make one single crochet in each chain. You should make two single crochets. And 13 single crochets also on the right leg. Okay, in next round we have to uh, increase so we are going to increase the belly part and left and right side on the belly part start uh, to make two single crochets in uh, first two stitches <laughs> so two single crochets in the first stitch this is one and two this is first increase and make two single crochet also in the next stitch. So one and two. This is second increase. Then make one single crochet in each stitch to the left side. 
and we will increase on both sides once. So I'm going to make five single crochets. And now on the left side, make two single crochets in one stitch. So increase, increase once. Then make one single crochet in each stitch to the right side. Okay, I'm on the right side of the body, so increase once. And then make one single crochet in each stitch to the end of this round. So we have increased, uh, we have increased four times in this round. In next round, make one single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, in next round we have to increase again and we are going to uh, increase the belly part twice. But I'm going to start with one single crochet. So I made one single crochet in the first stitch and now increase. So increase, make two single crochets in next stitch. This is first increase and make two single crochets in next stitch. This is second increase. Then make one single one, then make one single crochet in each stitch to the left side. Because we are going to increase once on the left side and once on the right side again. Okay, I am on the left side. So now increase, make two single crochets in the same stitch. Then make one single crochet in each stitch to the other side, so to the right side of the body. I'm on the right side of the body, so I have to increase once. And then make one single crochet in each stitch to the end of this round. So in this round, we have decreased, uh, sorry, we have increased uh, four times again. Okay, in next two rounds, we will make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So make two rounds without chains, two rounds of single crochets. In next round, we have to increase just both sides. 
So we will increase once on the left side and once on the right side. Now make one single crochet in each stitch to the left side. On the left side, increase once and then make one single crochet in each stitch to the right side. On the right side, increase again once and then make one single crochet to the end of this round. Okay, we have increased twice in previous round. And now you have to make two rounds of single crochet. So two rounds without increase, without a decrease. You can stuff the legs and uh, body with hollow fiber right now if you want and now it's time for decrease so i'm going to decrease the first stitch so decrease and then make one single crochet in the next five stitches it means you will decrease every sixth stitch all the way around and in this round you should decrease six times okay i have five single crochets and now i have to decrease again so continue working uh, continue working like this all the way around you should or you have to uh, decrease every sixth stitch around Okay, this is sixth uh, decrease and I have just two stitches left. So make one single crochet in the very last two stitches. It's okay. And in next round, uh, make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, in next round we are going to decrease. I'm going to start with the decrease. So decrease and then uh, then I will make one single crochet in next four stitches. So in this round you have to decrease every fifth stitch all the way around. So now four single crochets. One. This is two three and four and decrease again so decrease every fifth stitch all the way around you can pause the video and then meet me back again at the end of this round and next round is round without decrease without increase without change so make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around Next round start with decrease 
and in next round we are going to decrease every fourth stitch around so i have decreased this is first decrease in next three stitches make one single crochet and in in this round uh, we will decrease six times again Okay, in next two rounds, make one single crochet in each stitch around. So make two rounds of single crochets. If you didn't stuff the body yet, stuff the body and legs firmly. And now it's last round of decrease. So start with decrease. Then make one single crochet in next two stitches. So in this round you have to decrease every third stitch around. But in this round you will decrease only five times in total. So after this round, after this decrease round, you will make round of single crochets. Just one round of single crochet. Okay, I have done uh, two rounds. First round was uh, with uh, five degrees and previous round was round of single crochets. And now we are going to join arms to the body. And we are going to join arms to the body during crochet. So if you want, you can sew them. But I'm going to join them during crochet. So you should find the uh, right place for arms. Uh, I'm going to make four single crochet. In first four stitches, I'm going to make one single crochet. And then I will join the left arm. And for each arm is four stitches. So it's pretty easy. You will make single crochets also, um, also with the, the arm. I'm going to show you how to do it. So you have to insert your hook through uh, both stitch through both stitches uh, at the arm, like this, then through the stitch at the body and make single crochet. And make four single crochet in total with, with, uh, with the arm. This is first single crochet. Second single crochet. Third single crochet. And this is last fourth single crochet. And 
Now I'm going to make four single crochets. So I'm going to make one single crochet in next four stitches. And then I will have four stitches left for the other arm. And join the other arm with the same way as the first arm, as the, the arm on the other side. And this is how it looks like. And now I'm going to make two rounds of single crochets. It's up to you. If you will, if you will make a neck longer, you can make three rounds of single crochets. It's up to you if you will make one, two, three, or four single crochets. A uh, round of single crochets. One, two, three, four, or five rounds of single crochets. It's up to you. I'm going to make two rounds of single crochets. And that's all. We have done body, legs and arms of our cute rabbit. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon at the second part of this tutorial.